Big Green Gorilla Studios coming at you live from the trees of Los Angeles. We're back in this dump of a place. Everest, what's going on? <laughs> what's up? Back in LA, back in the trees, feeling good. And we realized, or I don't know if we realized, but uh, it's true that it's been a while since Brayden and I have gone head to head in some guerrilla warfare on the podcast. And uh, we figured not too much going on in the world of movies right now. Maxine doesn't come out for another week. Uh, I'm bunch so of summer movie. movies dude i i'm ready to i hope i hope my theater is getting it i actually dude, don't i'm know literally I... so they have early access wednesday and it's monday right now when we're recording i'm off today tomorrow i work wednesday and then i'm off thursday and i'm like what the, why is there early access the one day <laughs> i have to work the one day you can't go i i think we should be getting the movie i'm hoping i haven't actually i don't know if their show times for this weekend are up yet dude i, I hate so. living in it looks town. like it's more of a wide release than like kinds of kindness is so yeah but we also didn't get kinds of kindness so well, well i don't we'll have it at my it like the theater i usually go to but i know i'm getting maxine at the theater i usually go to so yeah maybe you'll I'll have pray. it hopefully dude i i hope so that's what sucks about like being back home because i'm from like super small town and our theater gets like five like it has five theater rooms that it can show at one time and so it's usually only like blockbuster stuff but hopefully maxine will sneak in there um it's easy when i'm out in boston for school because literally amc has like 19 like theaters right across the street it gets every single movie it's great but um anyways we are doing some guerrilla warfare today and since brayden and i have both always kind of been fascinated with and loved movie release dates. What year did movies come out? That's something the two of us kind of share. We figured we would do a trivia battle based on that. So Braden's got a random movie generator pulled up for today. And basically, he's going to spin that. It's going to come out with a movie. And both of us are going to try and guess what year that movie came out. And if we get it right, we get a point. If neither of us get it right... Whoever's closest will get a point, and uh, I think we're going to go to first to 25 points wins Guerrilla Warfare and gets the Giggly Guerrilla Studios championship belt, which currently rests on my shoulder, even though I don't have it in real life. We still we got to get one of those, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to like put some money together and just... <laughs> It'd be easier if we lived closer together because we could actually like exchange it from one another. Yeah. But mailing that gotta, thing back and forth mail would... It to you. <laughs> <laughs> that would cost too much. Cost so much money. And as yeah, of now, we don't even be... do a video version of this podcast, so people wouldn't even see it. So I know. <laughs> well, it's it's in my head. It's it's right here. I've had this thing for a while, dude. Like we were saying, we have not we have not done warfare in a long time. So are we going to be rusty? Probably. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes. Also, this is an audio only podcast, but rest assured. Brayden and I are on camera. We will be writing our answers down. There's no tomfoolery going on here. But um, I don't know. Before we yeah. get into it, anything else? Anything else you want to say? What's been What's been going on, man? Uh, I started from your recommendation. I started a bear recently. Pretty good show. Yes, sir. I'm pretty into. It. I'm like to your favorite episode. I think Forks. Forks is the is the best episode. I think. Right. Of yeah, the that's show. the episode I'm to right now. I watched like the first five minutes of it last night, and I was like, I need to go to bed. I'm just tired. But yeah. it was like it was opening up like it was a game show or something. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> it's edited yeah. in a very interesting way. That I like the bear because it it switches up editing style. It switches up like format like almost every episode. At least as you get more into like season two, like. Every episode feels different. Dude, the episodes that are like filmed like a documentary make me want to go watch Parks and Rec so badly. Rec. Like I need to go rewatch <laughs> that show because I'm like the mockumentary. I feel like it's starting to make a comeback. It's kind of been dead. Like after yeah. Parks and Rec, I can't really think of a mockumentary that's been big. But I don't know when that's done well. Like it, like I really like what we do in the shadows. The movie. When that style of movie or TV is done well, it's so enjoyable. Yeah, it's great. I haven't seen Parks and Rec in forever. I don't even know if I watched the full series. I know I watched uh, a lot of them. But like, how many it. seasons of that show is there? Like eight? Like seven? I, I think seven, know. yeah. Seven? Jeez, man. But yeah, I love The Bear. Season three, uh, according to a lot of people, is the worst season so far. I'm like three episodes into it. 
and it's still pretty good, but I it doesn't feel like as purposeful as the first two seasons. Like the first two seasons each have a very clear like plot and direction, and I feel like in season three so far they're a I little I will tell you unfocused. that Christmas episode that was an hour long fishes. I'm not watching that every Christmas. That is heavy. Dude, yeah. It's like, oh my god, so much arguing, so much crazy so much crazy stuff happens in that episode. That is like a lot of people what a lot of people think is the best episode of the show. But for me it's like Forks is kind of it's right after that and it's just like a nice kind of cool down uh with still some really great stuff in it. So I'm excited for you to watch Forks. But Fishes is great. It's been a lot. Yeah, I saw it as an hour long. I'm like, oh crap, that is really long for this show. What is <laughs> gonna go down and it's like an entire flashback episode but it gives you so much backstory on the characters and that family and i'm like oh my (laughs) yeah and it's like just when you think stuff can't get worse it gets so much worse like every 10 minutes throughout the episode it's just like oh my god but um yeah i i love the bear i think it's a super unique it kind of makes like all the ptsd stuff like going on and uh bear's head like makes so much more sense it's like okay i get why carmy is like press the hell out all the time 24 yeah. 7 that's <laughs> there's a there's a great meme online where it's him like absolutely yelling and losing his mind and the captain is like me when me when people order food at the restaurant that i own and i have to make it <laughs> he's just like so bit. um but yeah the backstory that you get kind of helps with that I, yeah, I love that show. I think the blend of, like, comedy and also it being, like, super stressful, the work area setting. Like, I just like this super high-octane, like, restaurant environment. Um, Our friend Connor really likes it, too, because he loves that stupid movie. I don't even remember what it's called right now, but... (laughs) Boiling Point? (laughs) Boiling Point, dude, the one take. That movie's movie's kind of mid. Yeah, I didn't like that movie. (laughs) (laughs) but the bear's great hoping season three i mean the first couple episodes haven't been bad so i'm hoping i still like it a lot um but i'm glad you're finally watching it uh what have i been watching i watched society of the of the snow the movie that came out last year i told i told the discord about last night with my mom it was pretty good it's just like a survival movie based on a true story about this rugby team who crashes into the Andes Mountains in, like, the middle of winter and has to survive, like, over two months out there before they're rescued. It's a pretty insane story. Well-made movie. Other than that, haven't haven't been watching too much um, since I watched Pearl and uh, X. So, yeah, just kind of vibing. Hopefully I get Maxine, dude. That would be a bummer if, if my theater didn't get it. But I'm ready to go. I'm ready to hopefully hopefully keep this keep this belt uh who knows how we're gonna do it it depends on what movies come up man yeah i feel like i might do uh just terrible because i don't know (laughs) i feel there was a time where i felt like i was good at release dates and stuff and now i'm like yeah i know like some random release dates that i probably shouldn't because i've never even seen the movie but it's like i feel i feel like i know less and less as the years go on which makes no sense it should probably be the other way around yeah i'm the same i feel like if we were doing this a year and a half, two years ago, like we would have both been just locked in, but I've kind of, I've kind of lost it. I feel like if it's not a movie that I care about or like really know, I might have trouble pulling it today, but we'll see. We will, we will find out. I'm ready. Let's do it. First movie we got is, one sec, one sec. Let me clear this. I don't know how the <laughs> site works. Okay, here we go. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. I at least can make an estimate on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think that's the okay. That's I don't. Yeah, I don't even know which Hobbit movie it is. I I've, I've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, never seen these. So I gotta guess. I've though. also never seen these. Lord of the Lord of the Rings are great though. Um, I'm not very confident, I, but <laughs> I don't know. I've got my I've got my big ass fucking note sheet today. But all right, I'm I'm ready. You got when index you are. cards. <laughs> all right, I'm ready. <laughs> Mine's I wrote really. 2011. Oh, uh, I said 2012. 2012. That might be right. I actually don't know what year it is. Uh, we gotta we gotta double check. Uh, you got the Google on that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it is 2012. You're right. Oh, right let's go. Um, dude, dude, that's annoying. Like, I'm gonna I gotta start a separate index card, keeping the score because I know I'm gonna oh. forget. <laughs> yeah. It's so. 
That sucks. I knew it was twenty eleven. I knew those movies are early, early twenty tens, but I didn't. I didn't know when Unexpected Journey was. I was like, it's somewhere in there. Braden gets the first point, though. Yeah, I just felt like this started around when I was in middle school, and that's like the first year I was in middle school. (laughs) So, yeah. Or second. All right. I I can't remember. I I don't know. I, for whatever reason, I thought it was 2011, but when this next movie is one we probably both know Zack Snyder's Justice League. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Let's get it. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Twenty twenty one. Twenty one. <laughs> oh, it's over there. There we go. <laughs> twenty twenty one. Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's cool that they have that in there because it's like not a theatrical release movie. Yeah, that's but... true. That means we might get some Netflix movies. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Dude. I hope not. Yeah, but that movie's great. Way better than the theatrical cut of Justice League. Oh, um, god. Yeah. Next it's long, is but... 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> I know. Like, like the, ori- the original one? or I'm pretty tell? sure it's the original one. Okay. Because there's the animated one, and then there's like the night, and there's one from the 90s that's like live action. Hopefully it's this not looks, that one. This looks like the animated one. Okay, the animated one. Two. I don't know how early uh, this one. <laughs> I feel like my guess, guess here is going to be terrible. I'll take a guess. <laughs> God, I, I, know I, I the genuinely, rough time period. I don't, but I don't know. I don't know the year. I feel good about my chance to at least be closest on this one, but I don't know. Darren would know this. I feel like I'm gonna. Close. I don't. I don't know how this guess is. I feel like I. Got, on, on. I'm, I don't I'm know if I'm guessing it. way too early or way too late, and that might okay. give away. I'm changing the year. All right. Well, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I wrote 1962. Oh God, I wrote 1977. <laughs> I think it's a it's a yeah. 60s or 50s movie. It's no, bad, you're dude. you're probably you probably got this one, <laughs> bro. I was one year off. It's 1961. Damn, yeah, I was way off. That's all. That's I thought. I originally wrote ni- 1961 down. I crossed it off because I was like, I psyched myself out because my first guesses were 2011 and 2021. So I was like, this is too many one years. So I'll go with I'll go with two. But so that makes score, me feel good. The score right now is one to one. Uh, right. two to two, right? Because we both got Justice League. Oh, is that how got, we're doing it? I don't. Uh, I don't know. I figured if we both got it, it's just gonna like offset it. So. Oh, it's just a wash. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One to one. All right. Oh, the Princess Bride. This is one I should know. Um, I might be off by a few years. So. Do I know the exact year? Shoot, I'm, I'm between. Movies. Okay, I actually just changed from my initial. I'm, I'm like between two or three years. <laughs> oh God, this is one that's gonna hurt if I'm wrong. But I don't. I, I think I got this. I'm ready. Whenever. Okay, I might be. I might be off a year, dude. This is gonna suck. All right, I'm ready. What'd you write? I wrote 1987. That's what I wrote. <laughs> 1987. I almost went we'll double check uh, it. Like my but... first guess was like eighty six, and I was like, "No, that doesn't seem right." I feel like this came out like the same year as some other movies that are in my head. I'm not gonna say them just in case it come up. <laughs> it is. It is eighty seven. So we're both correct. Okay, sweet. Um, that would have been yeah. embarrassing because that's kind of a classic. <laughs> I love that movie. That movie's incredible. It's so good. Oh, Morbius! What a movie. I don't even. <laughs> I might get this one wrong. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't know. I don't know what it, which one it is between two years. This came out so recent. How recent though? Like it was recent, but like it wasn't that recent. More like how? What what hmm. year was that? I'm between two years, and I don't even know if the two years I'm thinking are one of the right years. I know I'm in the ballpark though. I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'm between two years. I got. I got my guess. I don't. Okay. I feel like this is wrong. Oh. I don't know. I'll I'll stand it though. I wrote 2022. Oh, I wrote 2021. Oh, uh, it might be 2021, dude. That's one I genuinely. I feel like know, it was January of one of those years, but I can't remember if it was 21 or 22. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Morbius is 2022. Damn. <gasps> Damn, I it also- was that recent. See, I never watched that movie, so I feel like it was so much further in our past than it was. 
I I haven't. Seen I feel it like it was yet. just one of those movies that was mean the hell out of too. That it got old so quickly, and I was like, I'm tired of hearing about this movie. I never want to watch this movie. So it's insane yeah. that that was all two and a half years ago. Yeah, it doesn't. It seems longer. I was also debating 2021. So I think what I go up two to one now. Yeah. Okay. If we're doing it like this, we might want to make it a lower end goal than 25 because i was thinking we'll just if you get it right you get a point regardless do you want to do 15 first sure. to 15 okay there are no rules here there oh are my no, god the, you might know this one i don't green book green i mean i know it so that kind of sucks for you <laughs> uh there's so many green movies i'm gonna take a guess though. there are a lot of green movies there's a lot of green movies and a lot of them are a lot of them are acclaimed too it's like what the heck just name a movie green if you want it if you want it to be critically successful well i gotta guess okay cam braden stay alive what'd you get 2018 that's what i wrote that's the right answer good job <laughs> was that the one that best won picture best picture winner. okay yeah, yeah. That's, i was like this is the year that like all those race movies came out and i think this was the one that won and yeah i probably knew that because of some trivia you told me <laughs> <laughs> yeah no green book wins 2018 over a bunch of better movies to be honest but it is what it is oscars back on their bullshit um but yeah okay brayden brayden keeps it keeps it where it's at on one that was probably more in my wheelhouse this is one that we probably both know the truman show i think i know it at least i'm gonna be embarrassed if i miss this one i'm be- okay i'm pretty <laughs> sure it's this year but it could be another year no, 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 this is right. Okay, I'm ready. I have 1998. That's what I have, 1998. That movie is so good. We both love that movie. It's, yeah, maybe Jim Carrey's best performance. Either that or Eternal Sunshine, um, both really, really good. Kind of similar movies, to be honest, at least like psychologically and vibes-wise. Truman Show is 98, so we're both right on the score stage where it is. This is getting, this is, this is intense, man. It's staying tight. Next is the original Mission Impossible, the first Mission Impossible. Movie. Oh, I know you know this. I don't know <laughs> if I know the exact. I do know this. I think I know. Wait, do I know this? Wait. I'm gonna write the yeah. number that sounds right to me in my head and hope. I think I'm right. That it's... All right. I. I... You ready? Yeah. I, I wrote 1996. Yeah, that's what I got. 96. Okay. I was like, I, that's what I. I was like, I, that sounds right, but I'm like, that feels way too early, though. It does feel early, just because the franchise is like, been around a long time, but doesn't have a ton of movies. Like, Fast and Furious has more movies, but started in the early 2000s. You know? Yeah, that's kind of like, ridiculous. But 96 sounded right in my head. I'm glad it was. And, uh, yeah, that's the correct answer, directed by Brian De Palma, which is crazy. All Next. right, still two to one. Next, we got The Ice Age, Adventures of Buck Wild. I've never even <laughs> heard of this. No. <laughs> this I, has to be a more recent one, then. Yeah, I, we can... I, are they we still making the Ice Age? If you want. Yeah, I think sure. So. Are they still okay. making Ice Age movies? The Adventures of Buck Wild. I've never heard of this. I, I also. That doesn't mean anything I, though, because I haven't like heard of any Ice Age movies since like Age, like Age of Dinosaurs or whatever. I think it gotta be more recent, but I don't know. I don't know when. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw a guess oh, out there. God. This, I have no a, idea. I'm picking a super random year. So am I. So we'll see. What did you write? I put 2017. I put 2016. Oh my god. If it's if it's like 2018 and I'm all, like you beat me out by by guessing one year closer, I'm gonna be sad. Ice Age Adventures of Buck. Bro, it's 2022. Oh my- so recent. <laughs> oh my god. That makes sense. I was like, I've never heard of this in my life. Okay, so Braden ties it back up. With a with a one year closer guess, I think I do remember hearing about that from like Darren. Now that I see the poster, Adventures of Buck Box, Wild. What kind of title is that? I don't know, dude. But Braden ties it up at two to two. Oh, The Mask, starring Jim Carrey. I think I I don't know if I know this actually. I don't know if I know this either. I, I know the decade. I don't know what year <laughs> specifically. <laughs> what year is this? All right. Well. We got a guess. I have a guess. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if I'm yeah. ready. I feel like my guess is way too early now that I look at this. You want to change it? I'm trying to... Is this too early? How old is Jim Carrey? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing math on Jim Carrey's age. 
He's in this, I could like, be totally wrong on this. I have I really don't know. I know the movie, but I think this is I'm the right sure. decade. Okay, I'm sticking with mine. Okay. <laughs> I, I wrote 1995. But oh, God. I, don't know. I put 1980. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I put... You're in the 80s? <laughs> 84. <laughs> 84. I I feel like it's a 90s movie, but we'll <laughs> we'll find out. Oh. I feel like I'm a decade off. I was like, should I change this to 1994? <laughs> Uh, well, if you would have changed it to 1994, you would have been exactly correct. Damn it. The year it came out. I knew well, I was I like, I was like, I feel like Jim Carrey isn't this old. Hey, I was one year off. That's not that oh, bad. Man. That movie came out in 94. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, three to two. I should have changed that. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. It happened. Uh, I was like, this film was too early. And it was. It was Snow early. White and the Huntsman. This is the... This is the one where Chris Hemsworth is the huntsman or whatever? Yeah. Okay. I gotta I guess I think I know this. what year this came out. I might, but I might also be mixing it up with something. That might give away what I'm guessing. But... I don't All know. Alright. You ready? Alright. Yeah, I I'm guess... ready. I got 2012. I don't fucking know. Um, you might be right. I, I underlined my first 2011 at, at the top, because I guessed that again. But we might, this might be a similar Hobbit situation where I'm just can't guess 2012. Maybe you I just have right the year 2012 in my head. I feel like this and Cabin in the Woods was the same year. Was Cabin in the Woods 2011? Nope, you're right. It's 2012. And Let's I just, go. My, my 2011, 2012 radar is just cooked. Because I know, I think the sequel, which is mainly just Chris Hemsworth, Winter's War is 2014. Uh, so they were made two years apart and not three years apart. That's tough for me. All right, tie game, three to three. I didn't even know there was a second one. Yeah, bro. I watched them both when I was, like, 10. Oh, Top Gun, the original Top Gun. I do know this one. I hope this isn't another mask situation where I'm like, I do know this, but I actually fucking don't. I think I know this. <laughs> I hope I know this. I I hope I know this, because even though I don't love the movie, it's a classic. It is a classic, which is why I should get it, but I I might be wrong, but whatever. I'm willing to. I'm willing to send it. I wrote Ready? 1986. Yeah, that's what I got. 1986. Okay. Oh, that was. Man, I'm beating myself up over that mask one still. <laughs> you're just you're just a decade off, man. <laughs> no, a whole decade. Okay. Next one, A Nightmare on Elm Street. The original one. Yes, the original. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. 1984. That's what I wrote too. 1984. Oh. Were such getting classics some, as the mask ones. came out as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, Freddy Krueger and J- uh, Jim uh, Carrey's uh, The Mask were just hyping it up together, dude. They were just balling out. But um, all right, yeah, is this, I love is, the first is, Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't think this next one. Oh yeah, the first Nightmare on Elm Street. Love it. It's so good. Still the best Nightmare on Elm Street, and it's probably never going to be topped because they basically did all the best things they could do with that premise in that movie. That's true. I'd argue Dream Warriors is on its level, the third one, but I'd probably still go to the first. It's the best one overall. Yeah, I, I kind of think the first one is the only one that's kind of, like, honestly scary. That's fair. All right, what do we got next? Still tied three to three. Yeah, this next one, uh, I think we both know it. Barbie. Oh, yeah, we don't even have to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you missed 20- this, you just haven't <laughs> been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, come on. 2023. There we go. So this this has some recent movies in it. Yeah. Highest grossing movie of last year. Okay, next is the original Mad Max. Oh, God. <laughs> we talked about this franchise recently. We did talk about this franchise recently. We talked about Fury Road, and then Furiosa came out. I think this is the um, only reason I know the answer to this, because, like, I kind of saw You know it, it for sure? <laughs> oh, Man, I might be. In I think I know it for sure, unless my memory is failing me. I know I, like, the decade. O- I like looked over all these movies recently. I feel like before Fury Road right. and before Fury I know the Yosa. decade. I don't. I don't know the year, so you'll probably get me here. But I'm ready. I've got my guess. All right, I have 1979. Oh, I have 78. Is it 79? That's such a bummer. If it I is. hope I'll double and check. I might be remembering that wrong. Maybe the second was 79. <laughs> no, you're right. It's 79. God. Yes. Braden takes the lead, 3 to 4. Dude, that's stupid. I knew it was <laughs> late 70s. I didn't know what year though. And you scared me when you uh 
gave that. Oh my god, I forgot these were even movies. G.I. Joe Retaliation. Oh no. Now, I don't even know if this is... I assume this is the second one? Like, did the first one I have a so. subtitle? <laughs> no, it makes sense for this to be the second. Because they're retaliating. Yeah. To whatever the fuck yeah. happened in the first. I don't know when this movie came out, though. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so honest. I don't either, but I, I think I can ballpark it. Just <laughs> it, I'll, I'll guess. I'm probably like gonna be wrong. Specific... But I'll guess. I'm probably gonna be wrong too, but I feel like I'm, I'm three years like off at most. <laughs> I could be, I could be five years off here. I don't know the exact time period where this came out. This, the number I have written down doesn't look right to me, but okay. I'll go with it because I don't want to waste too much time. So it's fine. Yeah, I wrote. 2010, but I have no idea. Oh, we're a year off right now. I wrote 2011. <laughs> oh, no. Brayden's gonna get me on all these... All I these feel like the first off. one was, like, 09. So, I, I, either of us could be right. Oh, uh, well, neither of us are right, but you're closer. It's 2013. Damn. Okay, that was my kind of... I was like, it's sometime, like, between 09 and 2013. There's no way it's after that, and I don't think it's before that. The first one nine, and then 2013 is the new one. So Braden goes up two. This is bad Ooh. for me right now. This is biggest biggest lead of the game so far. Okay, so the BFG next. It's still weird to me to this day that Steven Spielberg directed this movie. To be honest, that is weird. Oh, I don't know how skewed my time frame is here, but I'm I think I know it... what year this came out. I'm between a couple years, but. I, I got I my guess. I could be wrong. Okay, what is it? I said, oh wait, uh, okay, I'm second guessing myself now, but I put 2016, that might be wrong. That's what I wrote too, 2016. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct, I'm pretty sure it's correct. Dang, I thought I might be able to get you there. Um, It is 2016. Was, okay, I was like, it's sometime between like 15 and 18, but I don't know specifically when, but it was like 2016. Yeah. Well, he does, seemed right. I think he does the post, it, well, I don't want to spoil stuff. It might come up, but the post and Ready Player One are like all in that era yeah. for Spielberg. I can't tell you when the post is, but I know when Ready Player One came out. <laughs> um, next is Hulk, Ang Lee's Hulk, I believe. Ang Lee's yeah. Hulk. Ang okay. Lee's Hulk. See, I know this just because it's Ang Lee's Hulk. <laughs> I that's pretty pretty much the same. I also know this one. It's two thousand and three. <laughs> yeah. I've never actually oh. seen the movie. See, most of the comic book ones that come up, I'm probably going to know. But yeah. Unless it's fucking Morbius. <laughs> we already got that, though, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, Wedding I Crashers. Find... Wedding Crashers. Yeah, oh, with, uh, I think I know what year this came out. Owen, with Owen Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, Owen Wilson and... Uh... Is that Vince Vaughn? Yeah. I do not know this, but I, I'm pretty sure I could I be know. off a like, year. I might know the time frame of it. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make a guess, and this kind of seems like a random year because I don't know a lot that came out this year other than a movie I love. I guess right, 2005. Well, that's also what I guess. Oh, pretty sure that's the correct year. Braden's just building up his lead and then staying alive here. I gotta, I gotta find something I can get him on to crawl back into this. I just Wedding figured it was 05. Oh yeah, I just figured it was a little before like Step Brothers, Vince Vaughn era. Then yeah, Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> oh wow, well, we both know that one. Yeah, which is twenty fifteen. <laughs> one of All the right. best movies of that year, and what is honestly a really solid and underrated movie year. I feel like Spotlights that year, Creed one is that year, uh, Inside Out's that year. It's a pretty solid, pretty solid year. Star Wars: The Force Awakens, which. It's kind of looked on as a mediocre film now, but at the time, I feel like was pretty monumental. Next is one that I know you know. <laughs> I hope I know it too. A Beautiful Mind. A Beautiful... Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm between two years here, and I don't know which is the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. All right. You ready? Yeah, I wrote 2000... 2001. Yeah, okay, that's what I put. I was like... Because I know Russell Crowe won, like, back-to-back... Uh, best actors or whatever one for gladiator and the other for this and i was like or no he was in two best pictures right one was yeah gladiator and one was this and i was like was this before win... was this before or after <laughs> gladiator yeah he did win 
uh, Best Actor for Gladiator, I believe, but not for A Beautiful Mind. I think he was just nominated. Gotcha. Dang it, dude. Of course, we get. I need a best picture that you don't know. That's what I need right now. <laughs> dude, this is pulling up everything because next is Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. Oh. <laughs> and I should know uh, this. You should. Wait. We can do it. I. You're going to probably get this more right than I am. <laughs> um. Uh, I think I know it. I think I know it. Let me... Um, okay, it's Scorpion, Scorpion's Revenge? Yes, it's one of the animated ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen it. I, I, I don't know what year it came out. I think I got my guess. Is it? All right. I won't take more time. I'll write my gut answer. Um, I wrote 2020. I believe you were right. I also had 2020. Okay. They've done like I, I don't think they've released one in 2024 yet, but I feel like they've released one per year since then because after that was Battle of the Realms, and then they released a Sub Zero okay. one, and then last year they released a Johnny Cage one. Okay, I just couldn't remember. I didn't know if that was the like first one in this in that like animated series that they, yeah, they started at first. <laughs> so that's where I was like, I don't know, but I think it is. And yeah, it was 2020. Dang it, man, we're staying. Staying at 3-5 right now. Oh, next is Cruella. <laughs> you might get me on this one. I don't know when. I know this was recent. I don't I'm, know how I recent. Don't know. This is a Morbius situation for me. I'm like, I know this was recent, but how recent was it? I feel like I might I be... Think? I'm between two years. I might be a year off. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, you got your guess, though? Yeah, I do. All right. I, think, I think I'm guessing this is way more recent than it actually was. Uh, I put 2022. I put 2021. Oh, God. I I feel like it's either 20 or 21. I don't think it's 2022. If it is, that's crazy. Uh, I was and initially... it is 2020, 21. I was nice. Like, I was initially going to guess, like, 2018, but I'm like, no, it was way like, more recent <laughs> than that. <laughs> it is recent, but 2021 has uh, been coming in clutch for me today. I got one right off of it. You got one wrong guessing it. 2012, the inverse of that is coming in clutch for me. I need another 2012 movie. <laughs> for real. All right, four to five. You still, you're still up by one. All right. Next is wait, Spirit Stallion of the Zimmerin? <laughs> is that like a sequel to Spirit? <laughs> May it must be right because Spirit's the like animated horse movie. Yeah, with Matt Damon, right? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I yeah. Um, we can guess on this. I don't know. It's up to you what you want to do. I think I know when the original came out, so I can make a guess on this. I don't know when <laughs> the original came out, like, at all. Um, okay, I got my guess. I got my guess. I don't know if it's right whatsoever. Watch this via movie from last year. <laughs> I, I have... Uh, sure. All right. What did you write? Because I'm scared on this one, but I've got a guess. I wrote 2014. Oh no, I wrote 2019. Oh god. <laughs> I have I have no I'm idea. I'm pretty sure the original was 2012. Okay. Because uh, I think I always get that and we bought a zoo like mixed up in my head with Matt Damon movies for some reason. What's it called? Stallion of the S Samaran? T I M A R R O N. I found it. It came out in 2002. <laughs> what? <laughs> So oh you my! Get the point, but oh man, that Dude, sucks how for long me. have they been making spirit movies? I don't know. Huh? Oh, that's that's so unfortunate, bro. Why is this? Why is this thing obsessed with Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat <laughs> Legends: Battle of the Realms. Oh no! I gave no. this answer to you early. <laughs> I don't remember it though. This was literally three three movies ago. Was Spirit <laughs> Mortal Kombat movie? <laughs> Uh, uh, what order are they in? It, you said it was, okay, 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 okay. Stupid Mortal Kombat, bro. All right, I'm ready. 2021. That's what I wrote. Okay. okay. I got spooked. Uh. I got spooked by the, by the <laughs> Mortal Kombat. And now I'm what are the, papers all over my floor. What are the I'm chances locking. it spits both of those out, but we haven't gotten, like, one of the 5,000 DC animated movies yet? Right? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> or like even a Pixar movie. Yeah, where's Pixar at? <laughs> Training Day. Okay. Oh, I know. Dude, I did. I know this. I think I might be a year off. I don't know if it's. I, I think, think I'm right. it. I'm gonna write my. I'm going against my gut because my initial gut told me one thing, but I'm gonna write a year later. I'm ready. We got 2001. 
Okay, that's what I wrote. I was thinking two thousand. Two thousand was in my head originally, but I know I know Denzel does remember the Titans in two thousand. Which I don't, if that movie comes up, or whatever. Um, so I was like, I knew it. Don't worry. <laughs> he probably doesn't do that also in the same year. And two thousand one also sounded right, but for whatever reason, I had two thousand originally. So clutch, clutch. Next is a classic. It's remember that. No, it's not remember the Titans. It's <laughs> It's mean Can you girls. Imagine? The original mean, mean girls. girls. I don't know. All right. You know I know when this one movie of, came out. One of Braden's favorite movies, like ever, dude. <laughs> Bro, it's so good. One of the funniest movies ever. It might be the best comedy ever. He he loves them. And that, it's yeah. a great movie, to be fair. Came out in two thousand and four. Yes. It's not like uh, earlier this year I rewatched this movie like three or four times and then <laughs> did an episode of it with Andrew on my other podcast celebrating its 20th anniversary yeah see i it, i love the movie so much I, I i gave a 20th anniversary episode to it you know that's uh, he he loves it dude i need i need some help here i'm gonna i'm gonna two two point hole still yeah this is crazy how long we've been deadlocked oh god just go with it which is one of that's one of those movies with wait well, did is this the only movie that he did with uh no, no. Adam Sandler did with Jennifer Anderson because she he's also done uh what are those murder mystery with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just go. With okay. It. See, I don't know. know See that- all all the Adam Sandler eras after a point are just like the same thing. It's like the same set yeah. of movies. Like I know this is after his his initial funniest phase. I, I don't know if this is like that blended era or if it's like the bedtime stories era or those the same era. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I I think I know the like three year span that it's in, but I'm not an Adam Sandler expert, so I I really could be wrong. You know, what? I hope I just hope you don't get it dead on because I feel good. I feel I got good my guess, it, but... and okay. I just uh, <laughs> I only made this guess because it's a year that hasn't failed me in this episode. <laughs> 2012 that's what i wrote too <laughs> i was like i was like i'm not losing another 2012 to Braden. i'll i'll check oh my god it's 2011 oh my god the i was literally time, i was literally between time, 2011 and 2012 the one time i don't guess 2011 it's oh my god all right all right we got das boot das boot the yeah. war movie yeah Okay, I don't know when this. Came I out, only know of this movie because like Connor loves it. Connor does love this movie. Um, I think I know what decade. I know what came out. decade. I know this is well. I don't know how old this movie is. I think I know the decade. All right, I I have my guess. I don't feel good about it, but I have my guess as well. Okay. I got nineteen sixty. Just. Oh Jesus! I'm way I have 1986. Oh my God! Was it really in the 80s? I thought it was older than that for some reason. I I think it's in the 80s. I'll Man, tell. I might have just embarrassed myself. <laughs> it's 1981. So oh my! Yeah, you destroyed the me. <laughs> there we go. That's what I needed. I didn't know it was that early in the 80s, though. I thought it was in the platoon Full Metal Jacket. Range. I don't know why I thought it was so much early. I needed that though. Five to All six. Right. Next, this is taking a while. We're, it is. We're, we're it's really taking longer than I thought. <laughs> the original Kung Fu Panda. Uh, I don't know this one. I think I know it. I the could fourth roll. one just came out in 2024. Like, how young was I when the original Kung Fu Panda came out? I feel like I was young. I gotta guess. I I think I have it, but I maybe this is the second one i'm thinking of i don't know i hope my guess isn't too early it i wrote 2010 oh i put 2009 okay that makes me nervous because i don't know i don't know for sure i have no idea when this came i never watched any of these movies no it's 2008 oh oh shit let's go dude that's i thought 2008 but my my initial my initial gut was like it's 2010 Man, That's this came this me. came out the same year as Iron Man and The Dark Knight, and it had as much of a cultural impact as <laughs> those two movies. <laughs> like, Honestly, uh, Jack Black is off, awesome. Dude. Jack Black is awesome. That's Go listen so to our School of Rock movie. episode. Yeah. Dude, Darren's going to be so upset at me. He loved those movies. Hey, He's I got it wrong, too. I got it wrong, too. Don't worry. I mean, 
Yeah, I was I was a year closer, closer than you, but brutal. Next is well, I kind of gave this answer. Well, if I'm right, I gave this answer away earlier. The cabin in the woods. See, <laughs> I don't know if I'm right though. No, no, no. You're right. I finally get to guess this year and have it be a correct answer. 2012. What? Oh, it is 2011. Oh, is it? God damn it! I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it? I think it's 2011. I thought it was 2012. I don't know. If it's it, 2012, I'm killing myself. It might be 2011. It is. Because... It is 2011. Damn it! Oh, God, <laughs> that's oh, huge. Did you psych man. yourself out, or did you just you thought it was 2012? I just thought it was 2012 for some reason. <laughs> See that one? I knew was 2011. Thank God. I, that would have been. That would have been. I bad hate that fucking wasn't. movie. I don't like that movie either. We both think so... that that movie is super overrated. It's overrated. Uh, if anyone wants us to talk about Cabin in the Woods, if any fanboys of that movie wants to hear why we hate it so much, just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't like it, but I like it for that because it gave me gave me a point. So seven to six, Braden lead. Uh, fuck that movie. <laughs> Coraline. Uh, uh, I think I know it. I don't think I know it, but. I'm gonna take a guess. I feel like I I've guessed be... this year quite a couple times. Alright, what do you have? 2009? That's also what I have. 2009. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure that's uh, Yeah, I was like, I feel like it's between, like, Corch Bride and Frankenweenie, and which I know Tim Burton had nothing to do with this, but, you know, my... <laughs> similar vibes. Similar, yeah. like, yeah. It is 2009. I... For whatever reason, 07 and 09, like, blend in my head sometimes with years. So I was like, is it 07? But 2009. All right, of course, stays the same. You know, I've never actually watched that movie. But I've, like, because I started and I was like, ah, I'm not that into this. But then, like, I watched a video over it not long after. And just the plot of that movie is so fucking dark. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I should crazy. watch that this Halloween. I like it. I feel like it, it's probably not great if you haven't, if you're watching it for the first time as an adult, oh. but having seen it like earlier on, I like it. It's still worth a watch, but who knows? No, it seems like so morbid. <laughs> <laughs> the Equalizer 3. They made three of these? They made three Equalizers? <laughs> Holy smokes. That's all they made, right? There hasn't been another one. I think so. Okay. I think this was... Okay, I think I might... Mm, I have a guess. I remember one of my friends wanted to go see this, and I was like, no, I don't want to go see the fucking Equalizer. I haven't seen the... <laughs> I don't remember if it was this one specifically. Oh, yeah. I, I, all right, ago. I have a guess. I don't... I do, too. I don't my, my concept of okay. time is terrible. I wrote... I wrote, I wrote 20... I, I wrote 23. <laughs> oh, no. I wrote 22. It wasn't last year? I don't know. It's a movie that passed me by. I don't know how recent my friend was. You're like, Yo, right. Look. It's twenty. It's 2023. That's crazy. Yeah, because I was pull. like, I only remember this because my friend was like, I swear it wasn't. It couldn't have been two years ago. So I was like, it had to have been last year then, right? But he was like, you want to go see Equalizer 3? And I'm like, that was like my first thing. I'm like, they're making a third one? Why are they making an Equalizer 3? I haven't even seen yeah. the first two. I was just going off. I remember covering the box office of the second one when it came out in like 2018 when I was first like making YouTube videos on box office stuff. And so I was like, it can't be five years in between. So I went with 22, but damn, that sucks. That is crazy. Right, next. Oh, the, <laughs> the first purge. See, oh my. Dude, these recent movies, but I don't know how recent they are, are going to screw me up. The first purge okay the purges i know the era i don't i don't know how recent this was all right a year i think i have it maybe um let's see because i know there's been a couple but i know they're all semi -re i've got to guess this year's fucked me but i'm guessing it <laughs> okay what'd you guess 2021 I, oh i guess 2013 dude oh wait you might have misinterpreted Oh, did I? There's a movie called The First Purge. Oh, <laughs> I definitely did misinterpret it. I thought you meant The First Purge movie. No. <laughs> hey, wait, can I get my, my, refer my referee, my lawyer in here? Uh... <laughs> Just throw it out. <laughs> okay, we'll throw that one out. My bad. Hey, Go for ahead. what it's worth. The the original Purge movie is 2013. I know, that's why I was like, I think you misinterpreted this, because... 
I'll see if you. The were first right, purge is like uh, the fourth one. I'm. I think. Uh, the first purge was 2018. Oh my god, yeah, that's three years off. Alright, well, that one doesn't count, whatever. The Shining. I think we both know this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do I know this? Oh no. I thought I, I knew this. I hope you know this. I don't know this. Wait, do I know this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna embarrass myself. Tonight, one of the most iconic horror movies ever, dude. Bro, leave me alone. I'm, I'm gonna get it wrong. <laughs> don't mess up. Don't I'm mess gonna, up on your I, on your favorite genre. I'm gonna get I'm gonna oh, you get know it wrong. It. You know I'm gonna get it wrong. What'd you write? I wrote nineteen eighty six. Bro, I wrote I wrote nineteen eighty, dog. Oh my god, it was eighty. No, yeah, you're yeah. right. Damn. Let's go. <laughs> no, that happens though, because you, you think you know a movie like so well and then it's just like what year did that actually come out? Uh, Kubrick really really that. slowed down once he got to like the shining's eighty and then his next movie is full metal jacket. So I don't know. Oh yeah. yeah, Full Metal Jacket was like eighty six or eighty seven or whatever. One or the other. <laughs> I think it was eighty seven. Uh, hopefully that doesn't. Full come Metal up. Jacket comes up next. <laughs> Child's Play three. Oh God. Uh, see, this is where you're gonna probably do better than me because I have literally no idea. I'll be honest. I don't even know when the first one came out. I don't know either. I think it's this has to be recent. If really God. was it. We might, I, we might, we might put completely different years down here. <laughs> when, when the first child's play? Oh, I'm no. not entirely sure. <laughs> I got to guess, okay. and I might be decades and decades off, but I got to guess. <laughs> the third child. Oh, no, maybe. I, hold on. I'm going to change my answer. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're making me want to change my answer. You can change your answer. Fuck, I might change my answer. I feel like, oh, man. <laughs> Let me just fix that. Okay. Okay. I I have no idea. I wrote two thousand nine. I wrote nineteen ninety eight. Shit. I feel like the first one was like nineteen ninety or something like that. Oh yeah, you were way closer. It was nineteen ninety one. I just. Oh assumed... my god! I had nineteen ninety three originally, and I was like, I feel like that's too early. Actually, I just thought. I don't know. I didn't think there were that many of those movies, so I thought it was like maybe they made two, and then there was a long gap, but. Or All those right, movies that's get those movies get weird because it turns into like Ride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, and it's like what right. is what is happening? Yeah. All right. See, that's where Braden's gonna get me on most of the horror stuff. I was lucky to sneak, it's, sneak unless the it's the off. Shining, apparently. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nine to seven. Going to fifteen. I got some work to do. All right. Next movie is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One. Oh shoot. Okay. Um, part one. I saw this in the theater. I shouldn't know when it came. All right, I got my guess. Okay. There's eight movies. Okay. okay, okay. I hope this is right. If this is, if you get this one on me here, it's gonna be bad for me. I don't know. I might be off a year. I wrote 2011. I got 2010. Oh God! <laughs> is it wrapped on me? I'm pretty That's sure part one is. I'm pretty sure part one's 2010 and part two's 2011. God, you're right. I thought it was 2011 and 2012. What if if 2011 didn't exist? I would I would be winning. I would be I would be so good. God, okay. Brandon goes up by three. That is so unfortunate. 2011 just he knows keeps screwing you, man. He knows Harry Potter better than I do. That's I for sure thought that it was 2011 and 2012 were. The Deathly Hallows movies. That sucks. All right, whatever. All right, next is It Chapter 2. Another movie I saw in the theater. Okay, I'm, like, pretty sure I know when this movie came out, but I didn't see it in the theater. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right. I haven't even seen this movie. I've only seen the first one, but... Uh, dude, this movie is here. long. <laughs> it's so long. All right, I wrote 2019. That would be correct. That's also what I wrote. Okay. All right. <sighs> I'm in a bad spot here. I'm in a bad spot here, guys. Once upon a time in the West. I don't know this movie. All right. I, I have an answer. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. All right. What do you got? I wrote 1968. I wrote 1972. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 60s, so I'm going to be right, but I will I will double check. I've seen that movie. It's actually a Western that I like a lot. No. I've never seen it, obviously. 
Uh, Henry Fonda's in it. Also, it's 1968. I'm elite. Oh, let's go. Bringing it back. Bang on. I'm still two down, bro. Oh, I, I wonder. One. I wonder if either of us are going to miss this one. The Dark Knight. <laughs> um, when did our favorite movie, The Dark Knight, release Everest? I wonder. <laughs> 2008. Yeah, 2008. As if we had to write that. All right, still eight to ten. The Fifth Element. Oh, I can. God. Oh, I, I know like the the time period this came out, but the specific year allude to me. I don't even know if I know the time Ooh. period. So. Well, when I say the time period, like ten year span, I kind of know, but like I might be ten years old. I know when the when the next when the sixth element came out. Or There's the, a sixth the sixth element. Sense. Yeah, no, I, I feel know, like they the can't. Yeah, I think I. Uh, I don't know if this was before or after that is the thing. All right. I don't know. I wrote a year that sounds vaguely correct. I wrote a year that seems correct, but it might be entirely wrong. I got 1995. Okay. <laughs> I have 96. <laughs> oh, my God. It's close. All right. We got to check. The fifth element. 97. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Give me Dang. that. Give me the comeback. <laughs> hey, one point I game. I needed that. All right, I didn't really. I was like, "That's a '90s movie." I didn't know when it was, but that was, all right. that's mid '90s. Pacific yep. Rim Uprising. I think I know this one. Um, I gotta guess. I don't know how many right. times. What do you got? You ready? I don't know how many times I've said this year in this episode, but 2012. Oh, I have 2018. Oh God, was the first one 2012? Or was Pacific the first Uprising one 2013? The, one. the first one's 13. Oh, and then. The Damn. second one's 2018. Yeah. Did you think it was the first one? No, I just thought the first one came out in like 2009. I've never watched these movies. <laughs> My friend, I have a friend who loves the first Pacific Rim, so I'm very, very tuned into the Pacific Rim universe. That means it's a tie game. It is indeed. Oh and my lord, ten. dude. These movies are killing me. The Da Vinci Code. I'm just oh. writing the first year that came to my mind. I don't know if it's right at all. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing, too. I could be off a year, but... I wrote 1996. Right. I have no clue. Oh, Jesus. I wrote 2006. Oh, my. Am I off a decade again? <laughs> I think it's a 2000s movie, because it's... It might be. I have no clue. Yeah, it's 2006. Dang, you're, you're nailing this. Decade. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I, I had I, to, bro. I put myself in a hole. It right, does. Then, it does feel like a '90s movie, though. Like it feels very '90s David Fincher vibes. I've never seen it. <laughs> I I've also never seen it all the way through, but I know enough of it. So, all right, I'm up I, for the first yeah. time in like three years. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. I wonder when this came out. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Next up, it, that is... movie because it came out at the sort of begin like in the spring, early summer of that year, and then there were so many other big movies afterwards. I feel like it kind of got pushed to the like if you weren't a big comic book fan, it kind of got overshadowed by like Oppenheimer and Barbie, all the yeah, it came other out, stuff. But like it came out like beginning of May, didn't it? I think so. Yeah, I I remember seeing it in theaters. It was great, great movie. Was... James Gunn is awesome. It's very good. James Gunn is awesome. Ready for a Superman movie. Fuck everyone that isn't. Screw y'all. Me too, dude. <laughs> Alright, next we got The Pope's Exorcist. Okay. I know this is a recent movie. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. I wrote 2023 again. Yeah, I wrote 2023. I don't know why we keep getting these 2023 movies. <laughs> Maybe it's like filtered to do more recent stuff, but... Okay, next we got Kick Ass. I think I know this. Oh, shoot. I might be off by a year on this. Okay. I don't want... Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm... I'm wrong, I think? Okay, whatever. I'll send it. I don't. I might be mixing movies up, but... I wrote 2012. I wrote 2010. Is it 2010? Damn. That, yeah, I, I think, think you're so. right. The second one's 2013, check. I'm pretty sure. Well, hopefully the second one doesn't come up now, but... <laughs> you're right. I My release dates are off on those. I thought the second one was 2014. I thought the... All right, tie game. Man, I brought it back. Let speaking of bringing, it, speaking of bringing it back, Alvin and the Chipmunks, shipwrecked. Uh, this is like. Oh God, I. The thing is, I think I know this. <laughs> I I don't know how 
This movie's like a fever dream to me. I don't think I ever saw it, but I'm like, they made another one? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm Ooh. a little late on this. I don't know, but... I don't know how old. Okay, I gotta guess. Okay, what'd you guess? 2012. I guess 2016. Oh, Lord, but was I, that I recent? might be a little late. <laughs> I, I think so, because it's like the third one, but... The second Let's one's like 2009, out. though, wasn't it? The first one was like 06 or 07. Oh, no, you're right. I was thinking of The Road Chip, which is 2015. Alvin the Chipmunk Chipwrecked. They made another one after Chipwrecked? Yeah. Oh, my lord. Oh, man. <laughs> 2011, so you're, you're closer. Oh, God. is that 2011? Yeah. Hey, well, 2012 All right, rating goes back yet. up, back and forth. <laughs> man, this is getting tense. Dragon Ball Evolution, the live-action Dragon Ball myth. <laughs> oh, no. I think I know the decade. I don't know the year. <laughs> when was... Okay, I'm I'm just gonna guess a year where Dragon Ball was, like, super hype. Which I guess you can say Dragon almost Ball every year. Dragon Ball Evolution. I don't know the if I'm lot, right. there's, I don't even... I didn't even know there was a live-action Dragon Ball movie, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Hmm? Let's go for let's go for like this. That seems like a time period where Dragon Ball would have been popular. Ready? Uh, yeah, I put nineteen ninety eight. Oh Jesus! I put two thousand seven. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea though. I, I feel like it was the nineties. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Dragon Ball Evolution. No, it's two thousand nine. What? Wow. Yeah. Was Dragon there not Ball a Evolution. Dragon Ball movie in the? <laughs> Have there been more than one live action Dragon Ball movie? I'll double check. There are there are animated ones in the nineties, like a bunch of them. And I must be just getting time but, mixed up. Yeah, Evolution is I think the only live action one. It's in the two thousand two thousand nine. That's wild. I didn't right. think at first I thought nineties as well, but I thinking about that movie, I was like, there's no way they did that in the nineties in live action. <laughs> That would be crazy. All right, 12 to 12. Oh, it's all tied up again. All right. Next movie is Dead Silence, the the James Wan doll movie. Oh, no. I, oh, God. You're I'm going to be sad if I get this wrong because I, I should know this. I think I know this. I know you, he, you love James Wan. I've, like, talked about this movie with you before, but it's, I don't it's know. It's pretty good, honestly. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't know what year it came out. Um, all right, you might you might get me here, but I'll I'll send a guess. I wrote two thousand seven again. I also wrote two thousand seven. <laughs> okay, that was Quatch. I was like, I that sounded right to me. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like an oh seven or oh nine. It is oh seven though. Next, we got Journey to the Mysterious Island. Oh no! <laughs> when did this come out? I think I know this. <laughs> You know it? Oh my, alright. Oh wait, no! I'm between a couple years, fuck. Do I know this? Uh, I don't know it. You know what, I'm gonna keep freaking, it. I'm gonna keep the, what I wrote. The rocks in this movie, dude, that is crazy. I got 2012. What'd you write? That's what I wrote, 2012. I was between 2011 and 2012 again. I, hey, I, I don't think I'm picking 2011 again for the rest of the... The the movie could be Captain America: The First Avenger. I'm not writing 2011 down. It's hurt me too many times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, and we were both right. 2012. All right, sweet. And now we got another Harry Potter movie. Oh no, <laughs> Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Okay, I think I think I know this. Oh God! All right, let me let me work. I don't know. I don't know if it's a little bit here. Oh, it could be. All right, I might be, dude. I'm scared. I, I'm between two years. I don't know which one it is. This is such a huge moment. God, such a pivotal moment in the contest. It's it's one of two <laughs> years. Is it? Okay, okay. Let me think through what I know. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm scared. I don't want to do. All right, I'm writing it. I'm writing the number. Oh, could be right could be one number. off. I I wrote 2009. It could be 08. Yeah, I wrote 2009. Odd. Oh my god, I thought it was... Oh, I wanted to write 08 so bad. Cause, but Order of the Phoenix is, is 07. Yes. I remember. And so I was <laughs> like, I don't think they did... I, 08 didn't sound like a Harry Potter year to me. So that's what... 
Next is a, a movie, a certain movie directed by Danny DeVito himself. What a legend. Matilda. Oh, you're going to get this. You're going to get this over <laughs> me. I have no idea when this came I out. haven't seen this movie. Yeah, but it's like it's Danny DeVito. It just is. This one's more in. I do love Danny like DeVito. Your, <laughs> your realm. Um, I do have a guess, but I have no clue if it's right. All right. I have a guess, too. I wrote 1992. Oh, I wrote 1996. Oh, dang. <laughs> Probably right. I don't know. It might be like 93. You might be closer. I don't actually know. Matilda. It's sometime in the 90s. No, you're dead on. It's 96. Let's go. 13 to 12. Oh, man. Oh, God. Give me more Best Picture winners, please. Well, here's a not Best Picture winner for you. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. <laughs> I hate the this, franchise ones, dude. This is one of the ones I don't know the answer to. Like, I think I know when the first three came out, but after that, it starts, like, I don't know when the fourth and fifth ones and all that was released. Okay. So the first one's, like, oh, uh, I think I have a guess. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I, I have a guess. guess. I got a guess. I said I wasn't going to write this year, but then I ended up writing it. I wrote 2011. That's also what I wrote. It has no idea. Okay. Uh, I was, hopefully that's right. I mean, it doesn't matter, but just to build build my confidence back in, in the year 2011, you know. Um, oh, we were right. Pretty, it is yeah, I was going to say, I think it's right, because I think it was like, there's a longer gap between it and three than there were between one and two or two and three. I knew that much. Yeah. All right, we got the Terminator. The Terminator? The Terminator, baby. I think I know when this came out. I know I used to. Do I still? <laughs> that looks I'm between so right two. To me. I'm between two. I years. hope it's right. But this one looks. I, I don't know if we're having the same inner battle. But I wrote <laughs> 1984. That's what I wrote. Okay. I was like, was it 83 or 84? I'm like, is there a like how big was the gap between one and two? Because I know there's a few years. I yeah, I know it was a decent gap. I also was kind of thinking 83 or even 82, but I wrote 84, and it just looked right. And I was like, that's got to be it. That had to be it. It it looks too right to not be it. Oh, man. Paranormal Activity 3. I've never even seen the first Paranormal Activity. Neither have I. Um, I I I don't even know. When it came out, I think. I don't. I don't even know if I'm going to be in the ballpark in this, but uh, I'm going to take a shot in the dark. I know there's been a lot of these. Dude, this this generator loves horror movies, though. There's there's a bunch. Um, let's go with this. This sounds good. I'm just I, gonna... I feel like I'm in the ballpark. All right, I got to guess. <laughs> okay, I wrote 2010. Oh God, what do you write? <laughs> 1987. <laughs> I don't know how Terrible old this franchise is. Are, are they newer? New, I think. What? Yeah. Are you Man. thinking of Poltergeist? I thought these came out around old. the same Poltergeist time as like Poltergeist. 80. I know Poltergeist is no. the 80s. It was the same year as E.T. Paranormal <laughs> Activity uh, 3 is 2011. Oh my god. <laughs> the first one was 2007. 13 to 13. Oh my god. You can't script this any better. <laughs> How am I so completely off on like the ones I <laughs> just have no clue on? That's the thing, like, you're beating me by a couple years on most of yours, and then when you get one wrong, you're off by, like, 15 years. Oh my god. Taken 3. <laughs> oh, no. How many of these movies were there? I feel like I saw the first one, for sure. Did I see the second one? Did I see the third one? <laughs> They're all the same movie. I, I don't know. I gotta guess. I have a guess, too. I don't know if it's right. It could be I, very I wrong. know mine's right. Okay, okay, bud. I wrote 2014, but oh my I... god, I wrote 2013. Oh no, that's so close. Okay, taking three is 2014. What? What? Man. Give me that. You watched that Give movie that. in the theater? Don't lie. I I've never seen a single taken movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Whatever, any. whatever. All right, next well, is Snowpiercer. Knew- Kind of funny. I mentioned this movie this week. Oh God! When you were I, like, you I saw that that off. snow movie. I'm like, is that a snow piercer? Oh yeah, yeah. I might be a year off on this. 
I hope I'm not, but I might be just like taking three. I might also be a year off. Who knows? No, no, no. I think I feel good about it. I feel good. All right. I wrote 2013 again. Oh my God. I wrote 2015, but it oh, so God. is 2013. Is it? I think you're, I don't know how I, I think so. It is 2013. Oh my God. Game point. <laughs> Holy smokes. 14 to 14. I don't know why I thought it was a little bit later. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Comes down to this. Next next one to miss and someone gets it right decides the game. Well, this or might be the movie closer. to end it on because the next movie is Final Destination 2. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this one of our Final Destinations ever? <laughs> Dude, I've never seen a Final Destination movie. I am not 100% sure when they started or if they're still going. <laughs> I it's the second one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is an insane movie to end this game on. Fourteen to fourteen. Fate of the universe on the line, and it comes down to Final Destination two. <laughs> I got my guess, and it it might be completely okay. off. But I have my guess. All right. Three, two, one. I wrote two thousand and two. Two thousand five. Oh my god. It ends here. Final Destination two. Is two thousand and three? Brandon oh my takes God. it. Holy crap! Holy sh! Because the what first one was like two thousand, right? Uh, I, I think the first one was two thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's. I was in the same ballpark. I just thought it. Was, I thought it was maybe like two thousand two. Oh, was the first one. Man, that came down to the wire. God. All right. Well, we have a new Giggly Gorillas trivia champion. Oh, can't Braden believe it. Can't believe I got this hold back that in, you've held on to game. for all these months. Yeah. Congratulations. Was... It was a well, well-played well game. That was I think you just have better knowledge of, like, franchise films and horror films than I do, and we got a lot of those today. I got some answers. I embarrassed myself on some of those horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, The Shining guess was tough. I was like, I was like <laughs> kind of, Kind of an iconic movie, but... Anyway, hey, that look, was fun. I don't know. For some reason, every time someone says Jack Nicholson, my mind only goes to Batman 89, and I kind of forget about all the other movies. So I'm like, wait, was this movie before or after Batman 89? It's like, this was obviously before. Well, the thing is, 89 is, like, Batman 89 is overall in the span of Nicholson's career pretty late on. Because after, after 89... Don't say that. That was, makes me sad thinking about this. <laughs> It's true, though, because he was just cranking them out in, like, the 70s, early 80s, and then he still works a lot in the 90s, but once you get once you get past the, the 90s, it's kind of like he does The Departed and not much else. Are you hating on anger a... management with Adam Sandler? He did that <laughs> in the 2000s. I am hating on that a little bit, but, yeah. Oh, you can't hey, hate on anything game, he man. does. He's Jack Nicholson. I can't. He's one of the GOATs. He's probably on an objective actor Mount Rushmore throughout the history of Hollywood. Probably. All so good. So great. You probably put him on there. Um, yeah, probably. I don't know. But anyway, Braden defeats me at the at the crack of crack of dawn, the final hour, he comes out on top, fifteen to fourteen. Good Surprisingly. Game, and of all movies ended on, it was a final destination. Final movie. destination. Uh Hey, I'm I'm gonna know that Final Destination Two came out in 2003 for the rest of my life now. Never gonna me forget too. it. I will not forget it. Well, I'll say that in like two years from now, if you ask yeah, me, I'm gonna be like, God, why would I know that? And they're gonna be like, Oh, you remember <laughs> the podcast? You won the title from Everest off of that question. I'm like, Yeah, totally. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks for uh, listening. If anyone made it to the end of this, and. uh Hopefully, we'll be back talking about Maxine if I can get out to a theater and see it successfully. Um, if not, Brayden might have to find a, a new partner to talk oh. about that with, or we'll just be back doing some other shit. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully, you see Maxine. That'd be cool. I, I, sh- maybe what'll happen if it doesn't come the first week is it'll like my theater will wait a week and then get it, but we'll find out. Hopefully, we can make it happen because I am excited. I want to see it. It's the movie I'm most excited for before Deadpool and Wolverine. I will say that. Yeah, I hope I hope Deadpool and Wolverine's good, dude. I know we've talked about it a lot. It yeah. feels like make or break, do or die for the MCU. 
literally, like, if that movie sucks, who, who's who's going out to see a Marvel movie after that? Like, people are already getting tired of this shit. Yeah. But, anyways, I think that'll do it for us. Uh, Brayden, now in control of the belt and the title. Unbelievable. It only took me an hour and 20 minutes of, uh, <laughs> of uh, overcoming a lot the of, odds. And, a lot of uh, editing for you, man. I feel bad. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be a lot of editing. But whatever, it happens. Yeah. All right. <sighs> hey, in the meantime, you can find the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts, at the Red Arrow on YouTube. Uh, like, share, subscribe, rate us on uh, Apple Podcasts. I hear it helps us a lot. So you know. Yo. Leave a review and all that good stuff. Five. Help your. That's that's what I would give us. Yeah, help your neighborhood giggle gorillas out. How about that? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. We're going to head back into hibernation, but uh, we'll see you guys when we see you. And I'm taking this belt with me.